yesterday was a little bit exciting for simmers, wasn't it? Hi legends, it's the English Simmer here, and if you even breathed near Sims Twitter yesterday, you have probably already seen this news, but I thought we would do a cheeky little deep dive into some brand new information that we received. The Sims official account tweeted out, get familiar, familiar family with The Sims this season. Whether you're expecting an update, expecting a baby, aka maybe infants, I, there's no maybe about it. We know that we're getting The Sims for infants. This is basically like their quarterly teaser. So I'm gonna assume that this takes us from January 2023 all the way through till probably most likely at the end of March. Or waiting for a new expansion pack to arrive. So it is confirmed we are probably most likely getting a springtime expansion. I'm assuming this is gonna arrive like towards the end of the quarter. So maybe like middle to end of March is my prediction for that. It's all relative. This is sounding like it has a lot to do with family and family gameplay and relations. So first off, we have this little kiddo sat in front of a tree. We'll get into like all the background and stuff. Firstly, I absolutely love their hair. It's very likely that this is gonna come in an SDX drop. The jacket is also new. I went through on my kiddos in Create Sim. I was like, mm, is this throwback fit kit? Is this the also sad beige child kit that we got a few months ago now? It isn't from what I can tell from going through the catalog. It looks like a brand new windbreaker. I mean, not my favorite asset ever. I feel like I've said for the last two years, I'm kind of sick to the back teeth of like athletic looking stuff. I also think they make me uncomfortable because they never put like a t-shirt under here or anything. So I'm just like thinking of that, like rubbing against my skin. Oh, it makes me feel a little bit gross. And then we kind of get this like illustration in the background. I honestly just have to say I'm a really big fan of this sort of production. I love the artwork. I think it's so sick. It reminds me of Bear in the Big Blue House. <laughs> like don't these clouds remind you of the moon? Which kind of like runs into the theme I think but we'll get into that. So it says the Michelson reunion. San Sequoia? I think that's how you pronounce it. San Sequoia 2023. I'm assuming that San Sequoia is going Going to be the brand new world that we will be getting with this expansion pack. I'm also making a very educated guess at the fact that I think it's going to be inspired by San Francisco. I mean, first and foremost, you've got pretty much, I feel like, the Golden Gate Bridge or something that is very reminiscent of it. But also the fact that I googled sequoia and it's actually a species of redwood tree. Redwood tree is obviously like strong ties to both Northern California and Oregon, which makes sense where EA is based. They are based in San Francisco. So unfortunately, I do think we'll be getting another coastal, like North American world. Coastal because of the lighthouse over here. You obviously see the sea or like a lake. Honestly, I feel like this is gonna be super, super similar to Copperdale. We kind of saw the water element and like a waterfront in the little teasers of the artwork that we got in the Sims Summit. However, I would like to say Sims team can we please get some variety when it comes to worlds that we are influenced by in The Sims 4? There are so many incredible places that have zero representation in The Sims 4 and I feel like we can step out of the North America, UK. So let's focus on the Michelson reunion. I know a lot of people have been saying, I think this is gonna be like generations-y. I honestly don't really wanna use generations. I did use it initially. However, to me, this is skewing a little bit younger. This doesn't kind of feel like a whole sort of family thing. Although there seems to be a disconnect between like the promo that we've seen for the expansion and also like what this is talking about. So I think like familial gameplay and familial themes are gonna like come into this very, very much so. I'm kind of hoping for a big base game update before this expansion pack comes out, which adds like more relatives being able to be created and create a sim. I don't know if there is gonna be a reunion sort of event in this expansion pack. I will hold my hands up and say, I'm honestly not that fussed. I don't really care for family reunions. Don't get 
get me wrong, I love my family. I'm from a very, very big family. I just don't think it's the most interesting theme that they could go for when it comes to like events. In a sort of familial gameplay, I would much rather them focus on like different birthday parties, sleepovers. We did also get family gathering in my wedding stories. To me, that honestly doesn't really feel like a reunion type thing. It's very limited in sort of the things that you can do with it. They don't have a family tab with like all of your family connections. They don't even have like a symbol that kind of suggests that someone is your family. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think family is just blood relatives. So I like that freedom, but it just doesn't really feel like a family get together or reunion. There's no like reminiscing. And I think family just like kind of falls flat as a theme in The Sims 4 anyway. So yeah, reunion to me, not the most interesting or like unique idea that could be included in this expansion pack. However, what I do want to see is being able to invite like the entire household relationship to an event. I wanted this back with my wedding stories. We didn't get it then. I'm kind of hoping for it in an update. I know that people have told me, well, you can have like multiple hosts to a party and then you can invite more people that they know. It's still very, very restrictive. Like I literally had my three teens go to host a party and there was only like six people that they knew from high school, which I know that they know a lot more people than that. So it's just very restrictive. I think if we are getting like bigger events, I do hope that they look at that. Yes, it's more of a personal one, but I think it's something that's been needing to be updated for a very long time. For example, when you throw like a kid's birthday party, the kid can't actually host. So you have to introduce the kid's friends to your parents or whoever is a teen and above who can host that kid's birthday party so that they can invite them because the kid can't host it. And there's also not an option to invite everyone that your family knows. Some other people have said it kind of gives them coloring book vibes. It's kind of pointing towards maybe there being more activities for kids to do, which I'm very, very hopeful of. I would love it if kids could like sit and color. However, we do already have that. Obviously with the little like drawing table, they also can't draw anywhere else. It's literally applied to that like table, which is maybe why they've given us like 50,000 of the boogers. So not saying that I want a coloring book like specifically, but if it does offer more for kids sims to do, it gives them more personality and also better connections with their family, I am definitely all for it. The kid is sat in front of what I read as a family tree or kind of like a hallway of portraits. You know when you used to walk up the stairs in the 90s and you'd have like all your like photos up on the wall of like all your family members? I hope that they kind of do a redo, a rejig, an update of the family tree because I think the family trees are atrocious in The Sims 4. And again, those more familial relationships being able to be created in Create a Sim more easily than they are currently have to like go through. Which then zooms in to one big update and has this little nappy, which honestly looks like a sleep paralysis demon. But obviously we know that we're getting infants. This is a little nappy kind of hinting once again towards infants. I don't know if these are in chronological order. We aren't actually getting a live stream until the 31st of January. I don't think the infants will drop before that live stream. I don't really know when they do base game updates. Maybe it will literally drop on that live stream. It could potentially be a Tuesday. Hmm. They might be like, go enjoy infants. And then we are getting two unique kits. I personally just think that these will be a create a sim kit and a build and buy mode kit. I don't know if there's really anything that makes them unique. This has basically leaked, I will say. The one and only Liddy Simmer over on Twitter basically let everyone know that the Simtimates collection had actually leaked on the EA app. And of course, I recently downloaded the EA app and I can tell you it has leaked. It's currently tagged as modern menswear kit, which is why it says it's in my collection. Obviously it isn't. The Simtimates collection kit hasn't dropped yet, but we did see in the Sim Summit that there was underwear in a little concept art, and this is like pretty much just saying what we're getting when it comes to that create a Sim kit. What's happened here is there's just been a glitch, like a visual glitch. The programming has accidentally put this Simtimates thing live behind the modern 
some menswear. So it's taken the artwork of the kit and put it in front of a pre-existing kit. I've tried to zoom in, it's not like the best quality, but this is basically like a lingerie and slash sleepwear kit, I guess you could say. This sim looks like they're wearing kind of like a sleep shirt, like underpants and a little sleep set. This sim I think maybe has on like either a nightgown or maybe just like a longer shirt when it comes to like lingerie. And then these two sims, this is actually the one from the concept art that we saw. It kind of has like the racer style bra with it and then a very like sporty underwear. And then this one is a little bit more fancy, definitely has more detail, kind of what you expect from like sort of a sexy lingerie. I'm honestly kind of happy about this. I definitely think we needed more sleepwear. I definitely think we needed more underwear choices. I always struggle when it comes to sleepwear. Intimates aren't like my favorite thing to set as sleepwear just because I personally think they look super uncomfortable and I myself would never want to wear it. So I would have preferred maybe a little bit more of like the cozy route when it comes to like pajamas and sleepwear. But I do think we needed to add a little bit more more lingerie into the mix because it feels like we haven't received it in a very very long time in The Sims 4. I'm hazarding a guess that this is just gonna be like a bathroom clutter. There is references to a lot of teeth. Obviously we also got the dentures in like a glass of water which I'm now honestly thinking that that concept art relates to kits because we got the underwear, we also got some of the clutter kit in there. So I am thinking unfortunately the dentures are gonna be part of a build and buy mode kit and they're just gonna be purely decorational, which kind of reiterates why I'm like hesitant to call the expansion pack a generations because I personally, from like what we've seen in the promo, a lot of like the writing, I think it will focus on like family gameplay and relationships, but I think it's gonna lean heavily to the younger skewing sims. I'm thinking like the brand new infants, toddlers, and also kids. I don't know if elderly sims are gonna get like like the rep that we want, that I personally want. I'm hoping that they might do something with like grandparents or things like that. Maybe let your kids sims stay over with their grandparents and like entwine them within the family a bit. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe bathroom clutter, maybe a little bit of gameplay. Like I said, I don't know what makes these kits like unique or if that's just like language to sell it. Maybe we'll have a couple of new interactions with like a medicine cabinet where you can like grab your toothbrush from because like that was in The Sims 2, I think maybe even The Sims 3. We never really see it in The Sims 4. The toothbrush just kind of appears like a lot of things in The Sims 4. Maybe a few interactive objects kind of like the kids camping kit. I don't think this is a gameplay kit. I think we've said goodbye to gameplay kits, but I could be completely wrong. It might be a gameplay kit that includes like teething maybe for infants or toddlers, losing teeth as a kid, also maybe as an elder. Teaching your kids to brush their teeth that seems more likely in the expansion pack honestly to me because that's where we tend to get gameplay nowadays but let me know what you think about this little little smiley guy my shiny teeth that twinkle just like the stars in space. And then we have one expansion pack, which is why I'm singing Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> this reminds me of Fairly Odd Parents. I think this, instead of the tooth fairy, is the tooth berry. See what I did there? You gain teeth when you are an infant, a toddler, you lose them, you gain them again when you're a child, and then you maybe lose them again when you're an elder. I'm just gonna keep saying it because I do want to see it, but I have no idea what this could be. Honestly, it feels a bit weird that there's a tooth. I feel like kids are gonna be able to like actually lose their teeth and then this little like tooth berry is gonna take them away and leave them some simoleons. I'm like hesitantly optimistic. Like I'm happy if it does focus on kids and kind of giving them more to do. We've obviously seen a kid riding a bike in the world artwork that we saw. We also saw a sim carrying what we think is an infant on their back in like a little baby carrier. So I again do think we'll have those family ties and I think we'll have little bits of game play here or there that make things feel more realistic for family gameplay. I'm just like, 
mm, hesitantly optimistic, I feel. And then we have the community stream January the 31st, and it says it's all relative, which again, speaking of relatives, family aspect, I don't know, I'm definitely getting mixed signals because I'm like, okay, this like screams family and like reunion screams family and like the family tree. But then the fact that a kid is the main focus and they don't really have like any elder in here, I'm like, Okay. And just to really reiterate my confusion with the kind of overlapping themes I feel like we're getting with this teaser, the wonderful Whimsy Alien over on Twitter, thank you Abby for translating this one for me, translated The Sims Brazil tweet which actually says, family is everything. I just need some clarification on who it is we're talking about when it comes to family. I'm getting Parenthood 2.0. And then The Sims Direct Communications which which is basically where they're like dropping news, but they're also dropping on The Sims 4. I don't know. This is a new thing that they introduced towards the end of last year. Also tweeted, Susu, the first laundry list of 2023 is here. Check out the top reported community concerns we aim to resolve in the next patch. Toddlers all look the same slash genetics broken. Okay. Again, kind of like focused on those like life stages. You love to see it. And also very annoying glitch for those people who I know like play legacy and things like that. I have to say, I thought all toddlers look the same anyway, but like, yay. Sims receive wants and fears when the toggled is disabled. Sims still holds fear of being afraid in the dark even after being cured. Sims keep moving after pausing the game. Thank goodness that was creepy as hell. They never fixed that in The Sims 3, so hopefully this one works. Workaholic mood look constantly stuck. Alien face changing on age up. Again, very, very annoying if you played with alien Sims recently. Belted cardigan causes Sims to stretch to the side. Wedding story conversation topics for married sims very glad that this is getting a fix honestly just seeing them like bulk up my interactions is so annoying juice party doesn't count for the task throw three parties adding moving deleting walls and wall patterns removes objects very nice definitely know the builders are gonna like that one excessive smelling of surroundings even when dirty can't check replies for last postcard sims freeze to death in summer can't say i've seen that one but glad it's getting a fix endless return from daycare yes i've suffered with that. Oh, I'm so glad that this one is being looked at. Cannot plan gold events or holiday on Friday and Saturday with teens in the household. This was broken with high school years. I suffered from it. I'm still suffering from it in my high school year save file. There's a fix for the doctor career. Sims can't use public bathroom stalls and werewolves are unable to modify paint, change their fur and create sim. Yes, mine has reverted back every single time. I've finished my werewolf let's play, but glad it's finally being fixed. I know these probably aren't some of your main concerns, but personally I've been affected by a fair few of these and I'm very glad that all of them are being looked at. Yes, there's more bugs that do annoy me in the game, but I think this is a pretty solid laundry list for the first one of the year. So there we have it. I would love to know what you all think. I would love to know what you're all reading into about this. None of this is confirmed, just a disclaimer. These are all just my thoughts, opinions, ideas. If you do want to keep up with all the news, I'm going to be covering all of this. I'm going to be covering the infant update. I have a wish list coming out soon that I would like to see for infants and also toddlers because I would like a little bit of cross pack. I'm obviously going to be covering like all to do with the expansion pack when that comes out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, early access will be on the cards and I also will be covering the kit. So do subscribe if you want to keep up with that Sims news. Turn that notification bell on if you want to be notified every single time I upload. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know how you feel about all of this. Maybe you disagree with me. I would love to hear it all. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I'll speak to you all in my next one. Bye now!